When I was asked to speak about another piece in the show that I felt had a connection with my own work, I figured the best way to pick that piece would be to look through the images by themselves without any of the other written information, no context at all. And whatever jumped out at me would be something that I knew I felt on a, a very primal level. Right away, Catherine Clark's piece caught my eye. Aesthetically, it was beautiful. I love the colors and the texture of the quilted fabric. In my own work, I'm very into interpreting various textures. But the thing that really grabbed me was that this pattern was immediately recognizable as a map of Washington, D.C. And this quilted map had these little red areas on it that I somehow knew were about loss. So when I read the title, it all made perfect sense. It was called a foreclosure quilt. Now, in my own personal work in the collection, Impressions, it's about a loss of a single person, but this foreclosure quilt about citywide loss made me think about the city I live in, Baltimore. Because, for better or for worse, this process of urban divestment is in large part responsible for producing my own raw material. I'd say that most of my sculptures started out as parts of historic buildings, primarily the white marble stoops of row homes. Um, in fact, the sculpture that's in this show I dragged that block of marble out of the woods in a city park where it had been dumped probably decades ago. So I loved that Catherine chose to take this negative thing and address it by making something beautiful. You know, I think about the rise and fall of urban communities all the time. I walk past it and through it literally every day. I try to take these marble stairs, these symptoms of this greater problem, and turn them into something beautiful again. I have very complicated and conflicted feelings about redevelopment. These neglected and vanishing marble stoops are just a symbol of community, a metaphor for its people. And it's crazy to me how in so many cities there can be so much wealth and investment right alongside complete poverty and entropy. It doesn't make sense to me. And maybe it doesn't make sense to Catherine either. And maybe that's what connects our work and all visual artists. We're trying to make sense of something that we cannot explain with words.